Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with another session of Ask PYS. We've got a fellow boater, Don, asks, Jeb, Jeff, I've been told not to switch batteries while the engine is running. Is there any truth to that? I'm talking about going from battery one to battery two or going from battery, from both to battery one or battery two. Don, great question. All right, well, first of all, there's no easy answer to this because ultimately, the way that a boat is wired is going to influence how the battery switch is used. But that being said, most of us, the answer that I'm going to give is going to apply to a lot of us. So this is commonly the battery switch that most of the boats used to have or even have. I'd say 99% of all boats have this battery switch. Uh, there's certainly been ev an evolution since this battery switch came out um, and there are different ones, but this is common, right? You've got uh, you're basically saying which battery is going to run all your loads. You can either choose battery one, you can choose battery two, or you can have both run all your loads. Notice the back of the switch only has three posts. Um, the third post is what's called the common post. That means that's where all the loads are going, right? And that's the bottom post right here. And then you're going to have battery one and battery two. So the question as a boater is, and I'm a huge proponent of this, is always to start your engine off of what you consider to be an engine battery, or at least demonstrate that a battery can start your engine without having the help of another battery bank. What does that mean? Is you want, remember when we're at the dock, we have control. This is the best place for you before you leave an, your dock, your mooring ball, for you to know that your engine can start on one battery bank and one battery bank alone right? Because it gives you confidence. You're like, hey, listen, if I can start on one, I can certainly start on two, right? If you're going to have two batteries, it's better than one. So the reason is always start your engine off a battery that you think should start your engine. Now, in some cases, in rare cases, some people are treating their boats and saying, you know what? I can start on one and start on two as well. They're both equal. In that case, alternate. Start one day on one, start the other day on two. Constantly confirming that either battery or the battery you think should start your engine has enough juice to start the battery on its own. Now, where's this advice of running a battery switch on both? The challenge is, unless you have a battery combiner or a battery isolator, and that would be only a very few subset of us that have that device on our boat, most of us are gonna have an engine and an alternator. Now that alternator outputs only to one battery bank, but you might have two battery banks on your boat, right? A lot of us do, so how do you share the charging voltage that is coming out from your alternator to two batteries. Well, you do that by actually going to both. And that's why a lot of boaters have been told that when they're underway and the engine is running, to bring the battery switch basically to both, right? Here in this case, they just label one plus two, so that the alternator is not only charging the engine battery, but is also charging the other battery. Caveat and I screwed up, I made this error. This battery switch and all of them are gonna have a little label, never, dis never turn off when engine is running. If you ever move this battery switch and you go from, instead of going from, let's say, one, and you turn the switch to off to go to the other battery, you'll blow up your alternator. So it's very important that you always go from either one to both to two, but never ever go off. If you turn your battery switch off when your engine is running, your alternator will blow up. I did that. I know it. And so as a boat owner, you want to avoid losing your alternator, right? And so use caution when using this battery switch. The other thing, another little side note, battery switches do age. Nothing lasts forever. We know that. If your battery switch is 30 years old, 40 years old, the contacts as you switch from one to both or from both to two, might not be great. And even though that you might see the lights barely flicker, you're like, I think I just lost power, even for a millisecond. That millisecond is enough to blow up an alternator. So if you are changing that battery switch from one to both or two, make sure that you have a relatively new battery switch because if the contacts aren't perfect, you'll blow up your alternator as well. So Don, that was a phenomenal question and thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.